good morning. How are you? This is Ikoku CC from the African Press Club, live in Barcelona. I am at somewhere called Plaza San Jaume. It is the seat of government of Catalonia. Here they have the parliament. Today there is a huge protest, once again in honor of George Floyd. People are standing in solidarity with the whole world against injustice, against black people. So the protest has started. I'm going to go and join them right now. But for a second, I, I saw some people coming. I'm going to go into the center now, the square, where you have the parliament building, so we can see other groups. There are so many groups here today. at least 200 million black people in Latin America, South and Central America. Spain was a big colonizer in South and Central America. So you have black people originally from Colombia, Argentina, Peru, all over living in Spain as well. And some of them were born in Spain too. And those are the people that you are seeing here. Afro descendants, they call themselves, and they're very proud of their heritage.
So they're calling out the names of people that have been killed in violence, not only in America. Samba Martinez, 34 años, nacida en República Democrática de Congo, muere de siete de la vida en 2012. Idrissa Diallo, 21 años. Black people in Spain are very much aware of injustice because they claim this is what they face every day of their life. And that is why you see they're very committed to fighting injustice. I'm going to try to go forward then so that we can catch other groups that are way down there. Va, por favor, un poquito para Gitano, muerto por aislamiento en la cárcel de Abdón, el 22 de octubre de 2018. ¡Di su nombre! ¡Di su nombre!
Y los muertos a las fronteras. Y los muertos a las fronteras. today. Would you like to say a few things on the camera about today? About today? Yeah. I think today is really like a change because basically even for myself I'm not someone who likes to protest. I'm, I prefer to stay home to okay to do my, my fight but by my side. And today for me was really important because I would like to see if there is a change, a change in society, and also to see, you know, a little bit how Spain, how Spain reacts to this. Where are you from? I'm from France. Basically, I'm Caribbean. I'm from Guadeloupe. But I really, in Guadeloupe, we, do, we have some kind of racism, but not a lot. But I wanted to see in Spain how it is compared to the Caribbean or compared to France. I was born in Paris, France. How do you feel? Do you feel like you're French, you're black? What, what do you feel? I'm black. You're black? I'm a black woman. Uh, I received a French education and I live in Spain. So, how do you feel today being here? Uh, I feel empowered because there are a lot of people. Uh, my friends are here as well. And I think it's important for us to resist the system of oppression uh, against black people. normal that's my question to you what is normal actually from resisting and protesting we can change things and by protesting and getting together throughout the history good thing has happened for women for black women for everybody so I think it's really important for us to gather and make people see that this is an important issue worldwide and that racism is a systemic system like a systemic network that oppresses us. Thank you very much. Thank you. So Cecilia is saying that racism is systematic and it has to be dismantled. And throughout history, change has only come to protesting. As you can see, there is a massive crowd at Plaza San Jaume today. People are really speaking out.
behind me here is the government building. The government building, the parliament, and you can see some police officers there and a barricade to make sure that people are able to gain entrance into the building. Colombia. Why, why are you here? Why am I here? I'm living here for 20 years. So this is like uh, almost my country, almost my city. And um, this is my nephew. He actually born here. Hi. Uh, I'm Hi. here actually for him okay. because he he born here. He's he's a Spanish guy, Catalonia. So we need to fight. Wow. You know, he's a black guy, and you know he needs to know what is happening. So we are here for the kids, for everybody. So. That's fine. What kind of impact do you think you'll be making by being here? I don't know. It's more noise. We need to tell the people that we actually uh, we have a problem. It's not only in the United States, even here, you know. So I don't want the same thing that is happening all the time to the, you know, the young boys in the street. It's happening to my nephew, you know. I don't want this. So actually, uh, I'm here because I believe that my people deserve better. You know, not only the black people, I'm talking about Latinos, Asians, Moroccans, everybody, even the Spanish people, you know, so we are here for everybody. Do you find the same problem in Colombia? Of course. We had the same problem in Colombia. Police is killing black kids there. Police is abusing there, you know, so we have the same racist problem. The same shit that is happening in the United States is happening in Colombia. You know, so... Oh, I hope I'm getting you in. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, you're welcome. Where is Vera? Hola.
People are kneeling down now. Remember the one me started by Colin Kaepernick. This is it. Existe una relación directa con las condiciones de pobreza y explotación laboral en las que vivimos gran parte de nosotras. Muchos sabemos que, aunque es ilegal, la discriminación en el ámbito laboral es una práctica común en nuestro mercado de trabajo. Negarse a contratar a personas negras, discriminación salarial, los plazos, condiciones y privilegios de contratación para la segregación Barcelona. As you can see, the spirit is high 
here. Everyone is excited and determined to say enough is enough. You can feel the vibe in this crowd from different people.